But what's your character like? Um, my character's name is Patrick. He, he portrays a Hawkins basketball player at the school. He befriends Lucas while he's there. Um, I feel like while you're in high school, you try to find your clique. And uh, for his clique, Lucas's clique was the basketball team. So um, while joining the basketball team, he befriends Patrick. Um, Patrick has friends. He has family. He has a good life going on for himself. But then uh, a turn of events happened for him and changes his life a little bit. So I know you worked with Caleb McLaughlin in the new edition story. Um, so was it cool to see a familiar face on set? It was real full circle uh, seeing him again and the fact that we had manifested it and aspired to work with each other again. It was real cool seeing him. Okay, so what was it like shooting Stranger Things in the pandemic? Oh, uh, it was crazy. Um, real sporadic with the dates and the time frames and the schedule, but um, we got through it. It was probably the longest production that I've been a part of um, as far as filming wise, two years. Um, I got casted when I was 17 and we got done when I was like 20. Oh. So, so it, was, it, was, it, was a, it was a long process, uh, but not too strenuous, I could say. It was fun at the end of the day, we still got it done, so yeah. yeah so was it, do you feel like it's a big difference um, in like the environment and the way that you prepared for the role um, going from like sci-fi to a drama crime series like, like Mafia Family? It's a huge difference, but I wouldn't say it varies. It, it varies in difficulty for sure. It varies in difficulty because then you have to depict on the different dynamics that you're incorporating yourself in throughout the different scenes and moments. They're very different when it comes to sci-fi and the gritty, you know what I'm saying, drama. Um, so it just takes a little bit more character development, understanding the character that you're portraying and the story that is being upheld. So, yeah. Okay, so um, what do you think is something new that fans can expect for season four? Uh, it's a way more mature season. Uh, if you like horror, if you like sci-fi, it's got a little bit more of that. Um, 14 new cast members, that's really cool. Um, it's, way, it's just way much more mature season. So uh, that's where I re really appreciated the way it's filmed. Um, the storyline, it's just, it's, it's, it's been enhanced to, to the T, to the extreme. So I, I love it. I, after watching the first episode, I really enjoyed it. And, and, to, and I'm very much anticipating the rest of the season. Okay, so what about Black Mafia Family? Yeah, same, same for it too. Uh, I had fun filming it. Um, I enjoy myself working with the cast. I mean, I can't ask for anybody else. Uh, this season, man, got new cast members, Leslie Jones, you know what I'm saying? We got Monique, you know, we got a lot of heavy hitters and, you know what I'm saying, coming to the season and coming back. So I'm just anticipating that too. So both of these seasons are going to be amazing for sure. So um, what are some things that you're working on, like outside of acting, like any future goals or? I want to start executive producing, directing. Um, I feel like you got to have a certain creative mindset to be a writer. Um, I'm trying to get into that, though. Um, but yeah, just get a different perspective of the game, the entertainment world. Um, I've been doing acting for almost half of my life now, a decade, and I don't want to get too consistent in something that I feel that I love, you know, rather than what I don't know. So I just got to expand my horizons a little bit more. And why start? Why not start now? Yeah. So um, I thought I've seen in the interview that you said that you were into like more so like behind the camera. So like um, filming, like yeah, yeah, executive producing, directing, um, you just get a different level of respect for actors, for the grips team, for the camera operators when you actually put yourself in, in, in those per, you know, some people's shoes. So that's where I want to start getting into. Now, I have a project now that I'm getting ready to executive produce with Paul George, the basketball player. It's going to be called Thugs. Um, we're trying to pitch it to different um, um, uh, TV networks as far as streaming, Netflix, uh, Windows, Apple. So just trying to get that out the door. Um, and uh, yeah. So you think you're going to like step back from acting or are you plan on doing like both? Not necessarily take a step back, but 
take a different perspective of the game, have a different perspective, allow myself to learn a little bit more rather than what I would learn as an actor. Okay. Um, and I've seen uh, Percy Park World in your bio. Can you explain what that yeah. is? Yeah, it's my management team. Um, we manage anybody as far as under artists, um, actors, models, designers. Um, we're just a whole team. We're a family. Um, we're very much incorporated with all the stuff that we do with each other. If I have a project and I need to get styled, I don't go to another stylist that, that is somebody else that's incorporated. I go to my Percy Park team to see if we have somebody there. So we're just very, very much incorporated with each other. So it's a family, you know I'm saying, orientated team. And I just love it. Percy Park, for sure. Okay. 